Okay, this innocuous little thing is the stamp storage book that I made out of acrylic pieces. So this is the top. This is just a folder that I put on two sides. And then there are seven sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Seven sides that I can put acrylics on. I made the cover out of a folder and the back is the back piece of acrylic. Now, I um, I wouldn't go higher than four. I think it's the right amount. You have room for lots of stamps and lots of sets, but it's not gonna be so heavy that you can't use it. And I am for sure going to be able to slide this onto my Calyx unit and pull it in and out to use it as I want. Stay tuned for how I did it. Things I used. It's about 25 bucks for the, the acrylics, the folders, and the Velcro. I have tape, so this is four inch, well, that might be two inch, masking tape, yeah, because this is four inch um, fabric tape. So we're gonna see what we wanna do. And I just have an idea. You've seen it. It already works. So we're going to figure it out, right? <laughs> kind of working backwards on this one. But these acrylics come in um, with little corners so they don't get hurt. And then you need to remember to take off this film because they also have the film on them to keep them from getting dirty. So if you're... Acrylic stamps aren't sticking down. That would be why. I'm going to take the films off these. So we have four of these. Now this is my idea. I just bought some more stamps. Okay, this is my year of using what I have. And I just bought more stamps. And I haven't been using my stamps as much as I want. So I want to... Um, I, I, and and for me, anytime I'm not using something, it means it's not super accessible for me, right? Because I am a very hands-on, if I can see it, I'll use it. If I can't see it, I won't use it. So, since I wanted this stamp set very much, I decided that I was going to find figure out a system to do this now. I started my journey here and this works really well. So this is this is how I currently have my stamps and my dies back to back. And I use five by seven, this is 0.8 mm's acrylics, which is what I bought again. If you get a thinner acrylic, it doesn't have the ability to manage itself, right? As well as you want it to. So now let's look at some of my other things. Ah, and what was happening is some of these things, especially when I left them on there um, in the red rubber stamps, were getting hurt. And that ruler thing always falls down. So we're gonna we're gonna come back to this because I'm gonna pick all my favorite stamps. But we're gonna start with these big stamps. This is Tim Holtz Field Notes, which is an amazing stamp set that I use all of the time because I like to put all these little, um, these jingly bits on my projects. And I like have I like the, that this has a huge variety of them. And then he just came out with this one, okay? So that's also one with a huge variety. So, so I do know that in the past, so with this year of using everything, I know that I use these kinds of stamp sets more than any other kind of stamp set. So this is a this is a slam dunk for me. I know where that stamp is. It's in a container over there. I gotta go dig it out. It flew off the table. Oh my goodness. And I love this stamp set, which is a little baby stamp set of stamps. So we have at least three big, big stamp sets that I wanna use. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these guys onto here. Okay, let's think about it. These are gonna be the, so I'm gonna make sandwiches of this. 
This is why they put the stuff on it. So they don't stick together. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to make sandwiches of these. They're going to close like this. Boop. Okay. So let's put this new one on the top sandwich. That's fun. And I like pretty things. So we are going to use, uh, how's that? Ooh, that's all different colors. So that's kind of fun. But we are going to use this fun tape on this one. So I need about that much. And I need about, oh, I guess we could make it the same size, huh? This much. Yay, using fabric tape, I get to keep it. <laughs> And then you just peel this off. And I have found that the fabric tape has a very sticky background. Okay. So we're going to put this on here and it's going to look pretty. Because in my studio, I have found, I tend, I don't know why, don't ask. But I have tend to find that I keep pretty things cleaner than I keep regular things. Now, I do think you could tape around all of the sides but we're also not doing construction with this it just has that was totally not the same size oh there's a little goober on the end okay uh we're not doing construction with this we're just making a little you know flippy uppy so that will for sure hold that little stamp set on there i'm gonna do the other two and I love this, these letters. I think these are Dina Wakely. Dina Wakely uh, letters. So I'm gonna put those on and I will be right back. So now we have our four top of the, let's see, I want this one to be the first one to open. So it's gonna go like that. Okay, no. It's going to go like, these are all going to go like this. We're doing this together, peeps. There we go. Now they're the tops of the sandwich. And this guy doesn't have a friend to hold him in. So I bought these. Let's see, do we want to do that? I feel like, let's think about this. I feel like this sandwich back has to be alone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off because I do have all of my text ones somewhere else. We're gonna, we're gonna keep those, those are a treasure. Do not judge my, what, uh, oh, and washi tape will not work. So do not judge my fabric tape addiction. Okay, I feel like that worked out much better. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get them all lined up. There we go. Right, all lined up. And I may not know how to make cool stamp things, but I sure as heck know how to make a book. I make books all the time. So now, this is the brilliance of this for me. I will be able to open this up flat, like dink, 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 look at all my stamps, and then they'll be able to keep themselves together because the acrylic, st the acrylic blocks, oh, I put that one upside down, no, oh, I just put some of the stamps in upside down, um, the acrylic blocks will, A, hold my stamps, so now we got to come over here. And this is the point of this whole exercise. I don't want to squish my stamp. Is to get my favorite stamps, right? Not all my stamps, but my favorite stamps out of some place I don't use them and into a place where I will use them. Now, if your stamps will not stick to these acrylic blocks, I have a whole video about how I made this um, this system. I'll leave that on there. Let's see, any of these other ones? Oh, I use this one a lot. Okay, so I use these a lot. 
Those are kind of, you can tell they're very Tim Holtzy. Do I want the person? I don't use that head a lot. Okay, these are called mixed media stamps. So I feel like these are a little different. We're gonna put them on a different place. Oh, there's a bunny. I haven't used my lines very much. I should try to use those. Oh, nope. Remember, we're gonna start with not aspirational stuff because we all have aspirational stamps and dies and things like that, but with the things you actually use. So I actually use those a lot. I also actually use these guys a lot, which are giant. Uh-oh. So these are really heavy duty magnets. These are not, um, you'll see hardly ever do my um, things come off because those are super heavy duty, um, really, really super magnetic. So we have this, we have, I should have four. Oh yeah, we're gonna have this one too because I'm gonna put the plastic cover over the top. I need more room for the stamps so that I can use more of them. Okay, let's put those on there. Okay, now we've got circles. I wanted to leave one of these tops for my circle stamps. And these are Art by Marlene circle stamps and I use them all of the time. She has, I think it's two different circle sets. I'll put links to all my little stamp sets in here. Um, and to the acrylics, so you buy the right ones. I don't use that one, so it doesn't get to go on here. Okay, I'm gonna organize my stamps and I will be back. So now we are going to make the book out of this, right? So the first thing I wanna do is pick a cover. And I bought these plastic covers. I know they're folders, but they're covers to me. Uh, what color do I like best? Ooh, purple's pretty. I'm gonna go either purple or red. So let's think about this. Oh, they're red rubber stamps. Okay, red. Okay, okay. Now, I might leave both parts of this because all of all this has to I definitely want it inside like to be the cover of the book okay well I should have measured it out before I put the stamps on them because there's no flat ones now okay we're gonna do this this one has kind of the big stamps on it so we we're going to, oop, these are little piece of fabric tape up here to stick that so it doesn't flop. And I'm cutting on the non, um, crease side. So this is the open side of the folder in case yours doesn't have tabs. I'm only doing that because I really do think that it will. Okay, this top one worked, this bottom one didn't, but that's cool because we can just do this. All right, I made a template for it, right? So we're gonna come along here. And this doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna put washi tape around it so that it doesn't have an alley. Okay, so that's that cover. Let's do this side. And I'm sorry if you can hear teenage boys screaming in the background, Josiah's watching the YouTube. And it seems from what I can tell on there that teenage boys spend all their time screaming. Okay, so this is gonna be my cover. Excellent. You know what we're going to do right now? We are going to use this to start our washi tape taping. Okay, there we go. That's cute. All right. 
So I was gonna say I tape like a drunk sailor, and I know that's from my mother. And so my mom had a lot of thoughts about sailors because I I used to think that nobody but sailors got tattoos, which my, my big girl has millions of them, and I have one. Um, and then she was always telling me about the things like, you did that like a drunk sailor. I don't know. Mom didn't like sailors, I guess. <laughs> okay, so now we can put this back on. And, oh, I was going to show you my stamps organization system. This is just mine. So I have my... Um, Cool Tim Holtz stamps. I use those a lot because I'm in marketing and they're advertising, so I love them. I use my tickets a lot. These are scripty bits that I use. Um, these are like mark making, so these are mixed media. Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz. This is art by Marlene, I believe. These are Seth Apter. So this is kind of my little everything set. And then these are circles art by Marlene. This is Stampers Anonymous. This is the only aspirational thing I allowed myself to use because I did use it, but I want to do more um, of this where you use the like fake stitching because I can't stitch. So I would like that. Okay, so now we're going to start putting this together. First, we're going to make sure we like the order it's in, which I'm totally fine. We've got this new one that I love. Then we have... Oops, this is supposed to go this way. Okay, we've got this new one that I love. We've got our stamps. Oh, I almost feel like I should do field notes next and then the stamps and then all my circles in the back. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hook these two together. I might have to move a couple of these stamps so that they're not quite touching the edge. And then we can go all the way back here. And this is uh, uh, Joggles Black Masking Tape. You could use whatever you have. I happen to like black. So... And the way that books work is you want to, is that how it goes? Nope, this is how it goes. Did we put it on backwards? Huh. Well, this is going to have to hook to the cover. line this up get it all lined up and this is going to hook to our cover now you don't want to pull you can push the the tape tight but you don't want to make it super tight around everything because I want this to be able to open up flat right this is my this is my intention is to make it so that everything opens up flat now I need a little piece for two reasons, right? And I have more black tape, so we're gonna do that here. Um, my reasons for wanting it to be um, taped on the inside are twofold. First off, of course, it um, helps reinforce that binding because this is functionally what we're making is a binding with acrylics but also it will cover the sticky bit right in the middle, okay? And I may come back in here with some fabric tape. If you need everything to be perfect, make yours perfect, I don't care. Okay, so now that's the top. So this, this guy is gonna touch these guys. So those stamps, go together and we're gonna 
do that same thing. We're gonna make our sandwich. We're gonna take a piece of this tape. And this is why you want it to be wide enough. And this may seem like a lot of work and a lot of tape, but for it to be a solid binding, oh, am I taping over? Nope, it worked out perfectly. For it to be a solid binding and also to function in the way I want it to, I have to make sure that I'm super careful There we go. See, now we have that one. Now don't go away because you think that you got it. There's one more little trick and then you can go away and you can figure out the rest. I'm a big figure it out girl. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. Okay, now you would think maybe you would just keep going and making the that binding fatter and fatter and fatter. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna now switch over to this one This is gonna sit on here. The binding's gonna be on this side. Let's move these over just a wee bit so we have room for the tape. And we are gonna bind these two together now with our fatter tape. You know, I make videos all the time and I do live in a pretty busy neighborhood but I do think that random chance should mean that occasionally you would get to see a video that did not have the sound of a weed whacker in the background, but no. Every time. I'm just catching the acrylic. Where is it? Oh, it's way up there, that's why. Okay. I was doing it to the Stampers Anonymous one, not to the acrylic. It'll be fine. I feel like if that freaks you out, you should probably buy something from the store because this kind of, and keep your bottoms together because you could pull this tight enough that it would separate it. But I feel like if, you want something perfect, probably get one of those binders. I just don't like binders. Um, I've tried them. I've bought them in the past. Um, I had a Tim Holtz binder because he loves a binder. Um, there we go. There we go. Okay, now we got to do our inside. So that was the last magic trick. I'm going to finish this up, but if you're wanting to scoot, 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 and buy them. The links are below. Um, you've seen it totally done, so there's nothing else super exciting gonna go on but finishing this up and putting it all together. Oh, gosh, wait, before you go, there's one more step. We're doing the, um, I got Velcro. Forgot about my Velcro because I'm smart, actually. I got Velcro because Johnny, my husband, is smart. He Velcros everything. Okay, see now, that's a whole book, and it closes fine. And this is a whole book, and it closes fine. We even have our cover, and now we're gonna bind our two books, and then the sticky part will be between here. So let's do that. And this is fat enough. Let's see. Let us see. Oh, this is cool. This is going to stand up on its own. I think. No. Okay. So we got to cut our piece of tape the right length. Boop. Boop. Right. Darn it. I put on a bra because I thought I had to drive Josiah. <laughs> and now I have a bra on for nothing. Ladies, do you, do you hear what I'm talking about? All right, so we're going to come along here. 
As, as you can see, that probably will not be a good enough binding to hold that together, but it should give us good contact. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my book, because we know it's this middle part that's gonna stick together to itself now, right? Because we just did that, that part of the binding. So, let's put this guy down the middle. Oh, he covers almost all of it. Yay, us. And any little bit that sticks, let's see, should we care about any little bit that sticks? Will it make my book work less efficiently? I kind of think it will. What do you think? So that's taped, that's taped. Nope, see, I just pulled it off. Because this guy isn't so securely taped. But I think this side, I could use one more stretch of this. There we go. That's a nice binding. And this is a really heavy book, right? Like this is not a, because you have your acrylic blocks, you have all those stamps. This is not like a, a paperback book. And you can see that this little guy for sure is not gonna be sturdy enough to hold that on. Which is where our four inch tape, so that was two inch tape. So it's just getting around the edges, but now I have four inch tape. This is 49th and Market, which is the prettiest tape I have ever seen. And I used it and I ordered an extra roll because this is, that, this is one of those companies like American Crafts that makes a thing, and then once the thing is gone, it's gone. So I had to have more of this. That isn't where it's going. We're gonna, because this is our weird edge, so we definitely need to get as much up here as we can, relatively straight. There we go. And then, we want to make sure our book's sitting straight. We're going to wrap it around and do the kind of the middle. And then come back over here. And then come back over here. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is pretty freaking cool and is exactly what I had in my mind. I couldn't be more excited. I have to tell you that. Because it's the perfect solution to my stamp problem. Number one, I have a whole bunch more stamps that I don't use all the time, but I like to have in case, like say your Christmas one, your um, all those, right? So you want to have them accessible, but these are the ones that I want to be using every single day in order to be able to justify buying more stamps. And for me, I have to have a binding that will open fully because I look at stuff, I'm very much that way. And now I can see all of my stamps. Okay, what's going on here? Let's see what's happening. See that guy. That guy isn't stuck on so good. So we're gonna have to keep our eye on this. You know what we're gonna do? If he's struggling, then, cause I didn't tape around the whole, you know, 
Stamper's Anonymous thing. So if we know he's struggling already, what we're going to do is give him a little support. There we go. Mucha better. That's mucha better. Yes. Okay. There we go. There we go. That one doesn't quite do it. You have to kind of pull it up, but it sits just fine. The whole thing does that. Now, this is where, and see the stamps are protecting the stamps. If I find that the stamps start sticking, which I don't think they will, I can put a little sheet of mylar in there or one of those pretty, um, pretty covers, and then I would tape it in because I don't need to be managing all my stuff. Oh, I love this. And last but not least, we have our closure because if I have this just floating around, it's going to get banged up, right? Like this front cover is going to flap. These are going to float. We are going to, the only reason I thought of this, let's give Johnny his due, is because my husband literally has Velcro for everything. I don't know. Hook and loop, I think they call it. Okay. So I just need two of those. And I think it'll go the whole it'll go the whole way, right? But I don't need it the whole way. Let's think about how this stuff works. Here's the fuzzy part. Right? So I really only need this part here because I want to keep, but what we can do is we can take off this back, right? If I thought my fabric tape was sticky, this stuff is like glue, okay? And now we gotta go back down to our very back one so we're gonna bend this and go over. Okay, now, nope. And I want this to stay long, right? Right. Okay. So this guy, Do I need snips? I'm thinking I need snips. I hate cutting stuff with my snips, but I use my second favorite pair of snips. Okay. And then this is stuck on the front. I want to be able to see it. I'm gonna hope I'm not wiggling you too much. Okay. Now we don't need that part of it. I'm gonna do that same thing one more time and I'll show you it at the end. Okay, so now the warm snuggly furry part is stuck to the back like this. And then we just pull this up Close it, pull this up, close it. You can go further if it needs to be tighter. There we go. And they are all stuck in there. And they'll mostly, I can't see that they're gonna fall out a lot. Um, I've used this, this system, so I feel really confident about that because I've used the acrylic system in the, the dye storage one and they haven't fallen out. And now I can just grab my stamps. I left room for more if I'm gonna buy more. And that, and of course I'm gonna make it look cute because, you know, we're, we're crafters, but that is the slickest thing. That turned out exactly how I thought it would. So 
Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.